Okay, here we go. Thanks for coming. I am the product designer at RC4. So, I am the guy who actually takes the calls from people who want to invent new products and I figure out how to solve those problems and make really interesting things happen. So when I saw that this is called the innovation stage, I thought, wow, innovation. Innovation is a big part of my world. And I sit at my desk and you know, try to solve some of these problems. And last night I was thinking a lot about what really, what does innovation mean? That the definition of innovation is not just to be something new. And it's not just to uh, be some sort of an improvement. And innovation really needs to be kind of a game changer. So I have always, I have felt that the innovation term is kind of thrown around a little bit loosely. You know, to just do the same thing a little bit smaller, or to do the same thing somebody else has already done, it's not really very innovative. So what I try to do is think about where things are going to go in the future. And I also try to look at what problems people are suffering from with technology they use today, where an EL wire is an excellent example a really popular way to light up things in costumes, but really riddled with some technical issues that are you know, very problematic. The, the typical driver that you might buy for EL wire, though it is not expensive, creates a tremendous amount of audible and electrical uh, noise, noise and interference. So bad, in fact, that you pretty much can't have a performer wearing EL wire and have a useful microphone. It can't be done. Another problem with EL wire, when you use a traditional driver, it is very sensitive to choosing the right driver for the right length of the wire. So if you're trying to create something on the fly, that for instance Cirque du Soleil does all the time, and I work with them on virtually every show they build, they are changing something in a show even after it's open. It is an endlessly evolving production. And they will decide watching somebody in a costume, say, or a piece that's decorated with EL wire, they'll say, I love that, but the outline should be a double line, or let's split that circuit into two so I can isolate the left and the right and add another color. And these things, these decisions are made on the fly. And if you've got a driver that's made to handle 100 feet of EL, you can't just put another 100 feet on it. It will get dim, it will uh, overheat the driver, it will cause the driver to fail. And so all of these problems I decided needed to be confronted. What we needed was an EL driver that would do what you wanted, pretty much no matter how you decided to change it at the last minute. So my two issues were, this is my sort of innovation checklist, it needs to be silent, so you can work it right near a microphone. It needs to dim smoothly, which no other EL wire driver has ever done. And it needs to be pretty much unsusceptible to changes in length, mixing different colors and diameters, you should be able to take a driver, connect anything you want to it, assign it to a DMX channel so you can run it from your DMX controller, and build a show really quickly and easily where you're worried about the look, not about trying to get the driver to work. So I took this idea and I came up with a concept for how to do it, and to my surprise, I discovered that the framework, the basic structure that I had envisioned in my mind, the electronics parts, could actually solve a lot of other problems. So then I was kind of, you know, going for a bike ride on the weekend and thinking about, man, I could use this with a little bit tweaked software differently and I could run a DC motor and make it go in different directions. And I could, um, I could put two different channels and two different colors of LEDs on one driver and be able to distinguish one from the other. It's like a single driver that works with two channels. There's a whole slew of really cool new things that I realized I could do with this basic sort of building block circuit that I conceived to use for EL wire. So this has launched what I call the DMX FB, the RC4 Magic DMX FB. And I, I have promoted it as the most versatile wireless dimmer on the on earth. And I really think it is. Let's have a look at it doing some EL wire. So, what I've built here is a suit. Were any of you at the swag, the Bragging Swag last night? I got to um, got to express my inner dancer. That was me in the suit. So what we have here are eight of my FB drivers. They are mounted to a weight belt, worn underneath the suit. And we have, let's go through each channel. We have a heart, which we pulsed at the beginning of the show. And then we have a stick figure, 
By the way, the design, what the lines would be and what they would look like was uh, done by my 12-year-old daughter. She conceived the entire thing. So she said, you got to have a stick man. Of course, if it was zipped up, you'd get a better sense of it. But the line down the front, there's some ribs. And then the line that, that is the leg, we split it into two circuits. So we've got top and bottom. We may have finally broken it. And then we have the yellow man, the orange yellow man. We need him on a turntable now so you can see the back. But the important thing here now is we're able to dim this EL wire. So if I put these faders at half, it's at half brightness. This is absolutely smooth EL wire dimming. I can guarantee you, except for the people who saw this last night, you have not seen this before. There is no other dimmer on earth that does this. EL wire has not dimmed smoothly ever. And then, I'm right up here beside And it's not making any noise. I could be wearing this. I could be wearing this and not be much of a projection speaker. And and it's okay. I could be singing one of those pop songs or kind of whispering the whole thing. And wearing an EL suit. And it'd be okay. It'd completely work. That has also never happened before. Of course, the one disadvantage is it costs ten times more than a cheap door. I'll work on that. If everybody bought one, it would get cheaper. <laughs> so, EL wire dimming, truly innovative brought to us by, I, I think, a real need to address, you know, something needs to be done in the market. We'll switch to a different concept. So those are the controllers.